Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today's Saturday, July 20th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Let's take a quick look at the markets and then we will jump into my trades for the week. Starting with SPX. So it looked like it was going to be another continuation higher at the beginning of the week. A new fresh all-time high on Monday, new fresh all-time high on Tuesday. And then we had the sell-off. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all down. Uh, you can see I had the 2024 uh, one standard deviation expected move marked from January 1st at about 5532-ish. We blew through that to the upside, and now we are back below it in just that uh, few short days of the of the big sell-off. So, welcome back volatility. In fact, VIX uh, peaked its head above 17 for the first time since April of this year. Uh, by the way, this this long tail is just kind of a misprint. I think it had something to do with that uh, IT global IT outage that we had. Um, Thursday night, Friday morning, but um, settled in, uh, VIX settled in at 16.52. Uh, NASDAQ, pretty similar price action from a perspective of uh, kind of a little bit up uh, Monday and sideways Tuesday before the big sell-off. If we look at a, uh, a year-to-date on a percentage basis, the NASDAQ peaked at its all-time high, up about 25% for the year. Now it's only up 18, so a little 7% off of its highs. If we look at the same thing on SPX, year-to-date at its peak, it was up about 19.5%. Now it's only up 16, so quite a little sell-off. Russell, which had been on absolute fire, uh, big, big pullback. Uh, the Russell had had reached levels uh, that we hadn't seen since November of 2021 before before selling off. So uh, a lot of volatility in small caps. There's all this talk about you know big rotation into small caps, which still may be true, but uh, the last few days of the week certainly a pretty decent pullback. The Dow has stayed the strongest of all of them. Um, in fact, the Dow made an all-time high even on Thursday, uh, did sell off Thursday and Friday, but, uh, but much less weak than the other indices. Gold hit a new all-time high of 2488 before selling off silver lower for the week as well. Notes and bonds, a little bit sideways to lower, uh, for the week, 10-year yield settling in at 4.243, little bounce on Thursday, Friday. Oil, a uh, big drop on Friday to end the week lower. Natural gas continuing to, uh, to slide lower, although it kind of bounced a little bit higher Thursday and Friday. Soybeans lower, corn sideways to lower, wheat uh, pretty choppy sideways. Euro and the pound off a little bit Thursday and Friday. So the U.S. dollar getting a little bit of strength. And then Bitcoin's had a nice bounce. Uh, sitting Futures are at 67,300. So not too far off of its uh, 74,000 high at this point. All right. So let's take a look at my trades for the week. I uh, had a decent little week. Let's go through the different ones. So my AM zero DTE trades were red. You know, this doesn't, this isn't really a great reflection because a lot of these I transformed. Uh, of course, if I got stopped out before transforming, they're going to be reflected here. So minus 6,300 on those, uh, no FOMC. My one DTE rut hedge with that volatility performed very well. I had one. These are just one lots. Had one for a forty-one hundred dollar winner, small two seventy-two, and then a fourteen hundred dollar winner. So over fifty-eight hundred on those. Uh, no JSPs as far as power hours go. I think I only had the one Wuga on Friday. Yeah, one Wuga for plus nine fifty. I uh, didn't have any PM tranches. Price action 
similar to the, to the AM trades, uh, these are going to be red because some of them I ended up transforming. So I'll talk about those in the transformers. And I've actually kind of got a, got a solution to kind of fix this issue with showing performance of these. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do my price action in one account where I'll just be focused on, uh, taking profits and, and utilizing, um, and, and taking profits and losses. And then in another account will be, uh, designated more for transformer. So I'll be able to have a little bit cleaner, cleaner data when it comes to this, but overall for these price action trades, minus third, uh, 3,800 on 13 trades. Uh, I think I had one discretionary Rick. Oh no. Yeah, that was never mind. Uh, one DTE and two DTE. Uh, I had a few winners here and one small loser. And then I converted, uh, transformed a bunch of them as well, which I'll show you. So that's it for zero DTE, no dynamic butterflies. Uh, my dynamic calendars, oops. My dynamic calendars performed well. Plus 4,800. Uh, I had a couple small losses, uh, on one on a one, two and a one, three on the same day. But other than that, all nice winners. And I'm locked and loaded with some Friday entries for next week. And then uh, no closed ducks, option selling. Yeah, no closed trades. This was a, uh, this one's not closed yet. So nothing really to report there. Uh, I did enter a portfolio margin trade, a, a Humpty Dumpty this week, but no closed trades. And then lastly, transformers, which we've got another uh, transformer class coming up. I haven't scheduled it yet, but uh, it's going to be one I think you guys are really going to like. Uh, but really nice week on transformers. Uh, and this, this actually doesn't reflect the full P and L. For example, a lot of these, uh, the options have not settled yet that I let expire, you know, so like this one is a magic Mahomes on, uh, for plus 2000. Uh, some of these are not settled yet. You can see they're still open. So once those settle tomorrow, it'll reflect the current P and L. So it'll be a little bit higher than that, but a uh, really nice week overall. I did the, uh, Magic Mahomes class for the Option Omega crew. I think a lot of people are liking that. Uh, so look forward to more Transformers and introducing some new concepts to our community around those as well. Uh, I'm really liking those, especially in this environment where you can put those trades on. Once you get a little bit of a profit, remove all risk. Give, your shot, give yourself a shot at a, uh, a really nice profit potential. Uh, so those continue to work well, and I'm going to continue to to uh, have a pretty heavy focus on those as well. So everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Look forward to another good week of trading next week. Take care. Talk to you soon.